Back's the man who took them back into the first division. Mel Machen left Main Road today after two and a half years as manager. Already, there's speculation about his successor, as John Molson now reports. Mel Machen's 30 months at Main Road weren't entirely unsuccessful. The 10-1 thrashing of Huddersfield Town, the 5-1 thrashing of Manchester United, and in between, promotion to the first division. But the first division has been tough for City. Second to bottom, no away wins out of the Littlewoods Cup. A one-all draw with Charlton on Saturday, not enough to save Mel Machin. Well, we decided that uh, we needed a change. We're anchored at the bottom of the uh, first division. And um, we thought the best way to guarantee that we don't stay there is a change. Uh, no reflection on Mel's uh, ability. Recent results have been poor, but it seems Mel Machin's low-key approach counted against him. The outgoing manager simply not outgoing enough for his chairman or for some city supporters. You never see him in the media, do you? You never see him quoting anything, you never see his face in an interview, he can't put himself over. I think he's lost faith, faith of the fans, that doesn't help. Um, tactically, I think he's uh, next to hopeless. A lot of things have gone wrong recently. Um, and I just want to see Tony Book back myself. Tony Book is back, but for a limited period only. With coach John Dean, he takes charge of team affairs for the games against Notts Forest and Liverpool. But with the real successor waiting in the wings, neither man seemed to be celebrating. It's very, very hard, you know, to, to put words to it, to, to try and say, you know, what you think at the particular time. But uh, I can tell you at this present time, everybody at Manchester Football Club is disappointed. Yeah, I think the, the decision is very harsh. And as we said, um, we get promotion and years. In, in the bottom pack of the first division, I don't see that as failure. Outside the ground, there were those who felt Mel Machin had a raw deal, and the blame lay elsewhere. No manager's popular with all the fans, is it? Don't mind going any club in the country. You know what I mean? Look at Ferguson. What do you think should happen now? I mean, it should be in state, Machin. I think he's doing all right. And sack the board? But someone's got to go, haven't they? Some fans would say you've had six managers in nine years. Maybe it's the chairman who should go. Mm, possibly. Possibly they'd say that, but uh, that, that, that's maybe. You won't go? No, no. No. We haven't had six managers anyway. We've had, uh, we've had five, and two of those resigned. As the club prepares for yet another facelift, Howard Kendall and Joe Royal are both in the frame. As for Mel Machin, low key as ever, he couldn't be found. His car was parked outside on the windscreen, a message of sympathy for the latest man who failed to fit the bill at Manchester City.